Well, I think that the, we're still learning a lot about EOE. There's been a lot of changes in our role as allergists uh, are changing along with it. So uh, these are very uh, allergic patients in general, and, and uh, there's a lot for the allergist to offer. Yes, the allergist needs to be involved in co-managing these patients together with the gastroenterologist. They need to interpret the results. These, again, as uh, Dr. Johnson was saying, are very allergic patients that have a lot of comorbidities. And we know that the vast majority of patients, more than 90%, get better with food elimination. And somebody needs to be monitoring these patients and helping to get them through this kind of treatment process. Yeah, it's often a team approach between uh, gastroenterologist and allergist, uh, oftentimes a dietitian as well. And we like to keep it very patient-centric, where we have a shared decision-making with the patient to decide whether or not they want to choose a medical therapy or a food elimination therapy, because there are various different options in this disease. Yeah, now that we have different treatment options, uh, this is a good thing for patients. Uh, we can discuss the options and they can uh, really have a discussion with us to, to feel like what's, what's best for them. Uh, we think uh, this would help them to stay on the treatment. Absolutely. If they're involved in the decision making, they're much more likely to follow through. And whatever they decide, we brought this up with our audience today, doesn't have to be forever. They might change their mind two years down the road. And yeah, we this, see that all the time. Yeah, this is a, a chronic condition. It's not going away. Uh, sometimes treatments, uh, bec there's burden of disease, there's burden of treatment. So we often discuss about treatments, uh, you know, we discuss certain treatments can change over time if uh, that becomes a problem. And I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions about this disease in the primary care community is that they don't understand that this is a chronic inflammatory disease that is not going away. So oftentimes we see patients then we don't see them for years and then they end up coming back to us again five years later, ten years later, but this disease is not going away. That's one of the roles of, of, of allergists is to really help patients to understand what's happening in this disease and that just because they're feeling good doesn't necessarily mean they can stop what they're doing and expect that the disease is gone. Um, so I think that's an important role for us to really help patients understand what's happening.